right, we're here with Crystal Ruiz, who just completed the uh, indoor pentath pentathlon here at Grand Valley State University. Crystal, uh, based upon your score, that would be the only pentathlon you're going to do in the regular season this year because you got an automatic qualifying mark. So oh, what is you it? Think. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, it was good. It turned out to be good. Uh, had some good marks. Was really happy that I only had to run a 2:22, so that made me happy. Um, but pretty excited about it. Okay, what do you think uh, is going to be on your plate between now and the indoor national championship? Probably just focusing on little things that my runs and high jump and long jump and just little speed work and stuff and just focusing on things like that. The little things, just touch ups. Okay, uh, you know, you talked about you had some good marks today. What event uh, do you think stands out in your mind as one where you walked away and you went, you know, I'm glad I was able to do that today? Really? Probably the shot put, and I've never felt that ever. So to walk <laughs> away with that confidence makes me really happy. So. Well, uh, what does that do for you, you know, being a multi-event athlete when you're having to move from event to event to event, uh, you know, mentally, I mean, what do you do to get yourself ready to, to do well in one event and then be able to move on to another event? Just take it one event at a time and just kind of go from there. And if it's good, it's good, and build on that. If it's not, you know, you forget about it. And you just take the weakness part and make it a strength and go to the next event. And uh, you've got another event coming up shortly, is that correct? Unfortunately. Not really. 53 is what I'm going to run. I'm just kidding. Here we are again, Grand Rapids, uh, Michigan. <laughs> With Crystal. This is uh, day two. We're fixing to head to the airport and head back. As you can see, uh, we had a little bit of snow overnight. So, uh, Crystal, what do you think? Uh, first interview is prior to the 400. Now, what about the whole total experience? Definitely a better experience than last year. Um, Good pentathlon score, good 400, not what I wanted to run, but pretty decent, I'll take it. Not a 53, but I'll take it. So you feel pretty good about where you are at this point? I sure do. Okay. What uh, plans we have for the next few weeks? Just find, tweak things, and just kind of go with it. Stay healthy, and get after it in a month. All right. And hopefully not this cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Minnesota. <laughs> All right, here we are with Coach Dibbern. Uh, been working closely with Crystal over the last six years uh, in the different events that she does. Obviously, uh, been very instrumental in uh, her tutelage to get to where she is in the multi-events, both indoor and outdoor. So, uh, Tom, tell us what you think about uh, Crystal's performance yesterday. I think the easiest way to compare it is to where she was last year at this time. And, uh, you know, she came up and did real well at, at Nationals last year, and she's 250 points ahead of where she was last year at this time. So I, I think that's the easiest way to compare. Uh, you know, the decision to run her in the quarter after doing the pentathlon yesterday, what was the thought behind that? Well, she never gets a chance with her other events to, to actually do that, and that can be a, a really good event for her. Um, you know, just another another option we'll have for the national meet if she decides to do it. Okay. Were you uh, excited, impressed, uh, amazed what with the time that she put up in the 400? The most impressive thing was the, the lack of rest in between the the pentathlon and then turning around about an hour later and running what she ran. That's very impressive. 